Hi there and welcome to Simon Anderson Photography and today I'm going to be comparing the Lexar USB 3.0 card reader to the ProGrade 3.1 next gen card reader and see if this is worth the extra money. Let's get into it. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Lexar USB 3 card reader and the ProGrade 3.1 next gen card reader. Now all this is is a quick video just to see if the ProGrade is really worth the extra 30-40 pounds for a card reader. Now I'm going to base this test on just writing from an SD card from the card readers to the computer. Um, this USB allegedly says 500 megabytes uh, per second. Uh, the ProGrade is a 3.1 gen card, but I'm using 3.0 because it seems to be the standard at the moment. And uh, well, this says 1250 megabytes a second, uh, which is more than double than the Lexa. Um, and this is just, like I say, just see if it's worth uh, the extra money. Now, there's a couple of differences between these cards card readers, uh, the Lexa, it's got a, a little button on the side which ejects the casing. This now inside the casing means that there's no dust getting on the connectors, which is a good thing. Um, the ProGrade doesn't have that, um, but on the Lexa, I've had to put hook and loop um, padding to attach it to my PC towel to stop it falling off and going all over the place where the ProGrade has a magnetic back which helps you stick it to your PC tower or laptop or anywhere that's uh, metal around your desk to stop the card reader falling off. Also, um, for this test, I'm gonna be using the SanDisk Extreme 32 gigabytes SD card, which is uh, meant to be 90 megabytes a second. Obviously, this is the class 10 uh, free card as well. Now, obviously, this pro grade is for the newer cards, which I don't have. And unless you're a professional photographer, you're going to know a lot about this sort of stuff anyway. Um, so this is going to be for people with just uh, the normal SD cards that I'm using here and USB 3.0 and not the next gen. If you wanted um, them sort of uh, comparisons, you will need to go to another site. So what I'm going to do is just uh, connect it up and write a two gigabyte video file from the card over to the computer and uh, compare the speeds of both card readers and let's see if it is worth uh, the money difference. So uh, the first one I'm going to test is the Lexa USB 3. Uh, it's already connected with the card in there. Uh, as you can see, I've got the basketball video or video, two gigabyte video on the left on the card and a, a new folder on the desktop of the computer. And I'm just gonna drag and drop it onto the folder on the computer and we're just gonna see how long it takes. Now, as you can see, the, the write speed is between five and six megabytes, which was sort of the similar sort of speed I got when I was writing the file to the card as well. So you'd think it'd be faster writing it from the card uh, to the computer, but it's not, it's roughly about the same speed. So uh, we'll see how long this takes. Uh, I'll speed it up for this bit. So you don't have to watch it all. Uh, so now that's done, what I'm gonna do is unplug the Lexa from the computer and then plug the ProGrade into the, exactly the same port to keep the test exactly the same. All right, so now it's recognized the card. We're gonna transfer the card, uh, the, the video, the two gig gigabyte video, it's the same before. Now straight away, I don't even have to speed this up. You can see the difference. It's uh, going 92 megabytes a second. Uh, which is amazing because they're uh, both working off USB 3. I'm not doing a 3.1 gen. They're both working on the same port and the same card. Uh, that is absolutely amazing, the difference there. It's like I sped up the original card. 
it's done. That's that's amazing. So what I'm going to do is just uh, get the times that it took for both uh, videos to transfer, and we'll compare the two. So I've got the results uh, for the two transfers from the SD card over to the folder on the computer. Uh, the, Lex the Lexa was 5 minutes and 40 seconds and the Prograde was 26 seconds. That is an absolutely amazing difference because even though the Prograde is a newer, faster card reader, really they should be effectively the same running through the same port which was 3.0, USB 3.0 and using the same card. Um, I was getting five, six megabytes uh, on the computer for the Lexa when it stated it's up to 500 megabytes. So I don't know why that would be running so slow. And that, I've had to sort of endure that for years. And I didn't think the Prograde would be that much faster under the same conditions. And uh, that's sort of what held me off buying this card and paying an extra 30 or 40 pounds for this card. But seeing the difference here, it is well worth the money. I would definitely pay that extra money for the card. Um, you know, if you think sometimes you go on a photo shoot on the day out and then you fill up a 16 gigabyte card of, of photos and when you get home, you're really excited. You know, you think you've got some really good shots there and you really want to see them. Um, and then you start transferring the, the pictures over and they're going to like one, two, three, you know, and you could have like 100, 200 pictures and it can take quite a, a bit of time. Or if you're shooting videos, um, you want to get them onto the computer as quickly as possible and start editing. Now with the Lexa, as good a card as it is, it's very, it serves me well, um, it is very, very slow. And the Prograde, um, as you can see, will transfer your video files and pictures in uh, seconds, depending on how many you've got. And it is well worth the money. And uh, I'm going to have to say, I do recommend uh, the Prograde uh, card reader. Um, and what I do, I'll put a link in the description to everything I've used from the card to the card readers. So you can have a look at yourself uh, and perhaps, you know, if you ever wanted to buy it, you could as well. So I hope this uh, video is useful for you. Like I said, if you wanted a full sort of description of the card in comparison with the latest uh, equipment, um, you know, you will need to go somewhere else. Um, but hopefully this gives you a quick comparison of uh, the two cards if you're not sure which one you wanted to get so thank you very much for stopping by i hope you liked it and i'll see you in the next one thank you very much